electrical engineer, researcher and energy storage testbed supervisor at the uh, Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, Ranesh uh, Takwardin joins us now for more. Thanks so much uh, for joining us and welcome to the program. Thank you for having me, Peter. Wow, this uh, project sounds very exciting quite technical and so let's start with the basics help us understand uh, battery storage and, and, and what you're doing yes so um, battery storage I mean everyone is familiar with a battery so in our terms mm. our batteries will be needed to meet the intermittency of renewable energy sources um, at the CSR indoor energy storage testbed, we'll be testing batteries with the our core equipment, the state-of-the-art equipment, a battery tester, a climate chamber. When you put these two pieces of equipment together, they do something amazing. You are mm -hmm. able to tell when you will have a perfect performance of a battery, of a certain type of battery. I mean, right now we are starting with lithium ion batteries and there are six different types of lithium ion battery chemistry with the latest being added is the lithium titanate oxide battery. So in South Africa, we have cold temperatures and we have high temperatures. If you think about the Northern Cape, those temperatures get quite high. If you bring a certain battery to us, we will be able to tell you at which point you should basically take this battery out of circulation. It will it will save you a lot of hassle. Yeah. It's a safety concern as well. But I should mention that we will be doing non-destructive testing at the CSR battery testbed. So are we um, adding to uh, the body of knowledge uh, in this area? Yes, um, definitely. So right now, um, the CSR already, the energy center at the CSR already does quite a bit of lithium ion uh, research. They develop, my colleagues actually, they develop a number of batteries and we are trying to get a higher energy density as possible. The higher the energy density, the more energy you can store in a smaller volume. So. We will be testing these batteries. We will be developing testing regimes, charge and discharge profiles, basically any way to optimize that battery output and get the most out of it. Right. So where do your Flemish partners uh, uh, come into this? Yes, so the energy storage testbed is part of the World Bank Energy Storage Partnership. Um, it is. We are part of the South Africa is actually part of this uh, partnership and the CSR naturally flows into that. The existing relationship between the South African and Flemish government governments actually, we were able to leverage this uh, relationship and have this, uh, this testbed created. Now Vito, the research facility in Belgium it already has a very impressive battery lab. So they assist us in training, capacity building, project management. I've worked closely with these people for over about three years now, and it's been a surreal experience. We try and build knowledge together and they share knowledge. It's a very, it's a very symbiotic relationship yeah. where we both benefit on both sides of the table. I mean, the way it sounds, it's, it's almost as if we are a serious uh, global player when it comes to developing this kind of knowledge. Um, we hope to be very soon. Um, there, are quite a, there is quite a bit of energy storage research done within the country already with the likes of Uilo down in uh, Port Elizabeth and at uh, the University of Western Cape. There are another, other universities that are also joining and we hope to be a, a big world player. I mean, right now, one of the immediate tasks for South Africa is to develop the necessary lithium ion battery standards. We are kind of lacking in that area, mm -hmm. but we will be approaching the relevant entities and assist in creating that standard. All right, so measurement is part of the equation, but does this kind of work help us think about how to build batteries better? Yes, definitely. There's a number of things when it comes to batteries to look at. Um, uh, my colleagues work on the anode and cathode research. So when we do test a battery and we find out that it's failed at this point, we are able to take it apart and see 
has it failed at this point or at this point, and maybe we can refine that process and basically mm. have a circular research method around this. And I suppose given the energy challenges that we have, this area can only become much bigger. Yes, definitely. So the indoor energy storage test bed, I say indoor because there's two phases to our project, is the indoor phase and the outdoor phase. Right now, ESCOM already has an outdoor test bed where they test utility scale batteries. Um, we hope to supplement this capabilities in the future where we are able to work together. I mean, we do work with uh, closely with ESCOM, try and make things better. So I think it does look uh, like a good future for South Africa. I know that you said that you're sharing knowledge. Uh, are we contributing uh, uh, to uh, the Belgians, for example, um, some of our discoveries? Um, yes, uh, I'm sure I can't speak exactly to what exact, um, what discoveries it is, but the energy storage test bed is only a small part of the collaboration. I know we've been collaborating in other areas. That is out of my, that is not my expertise, but we are collaborating in other areas where we share our discoveries. What they are exactly, that's beyond my scope, unfortunately. All right. I mean, you know, I'm seeing headlines such as, this test bed is a game changer. Is that is that an exaggeration, or is that is that how you see it? it it's not an exaggeration. It, it is definitely a game changer. Every time I step into that lab, uh, I'm, I'm blown away about what we can do and the data we get. We can simulate things from electric vehicles, electric buses, to stationary applications. I mean. The existing infrastructure before the test bed came into play was a bit of smaller cells like coin cells and button cells. And now we can push into pouch cells and actual battery packs. So it, it's just surreal. Like I said before, the, mm. the lithium ion battery standard will help South Africa immensely. Like yeah. It cannot be overstated how much that will help the man yeah. on the ground. You mentioned the climate chamber a little bit earlier on. Tell us a little bit more about what this does and uh, why it's so significant. Yeah, uh, so the climate chamber, it's a thousand liters. Um, you can basically place uh, a battery in this climate chamber and you can quickly cycle how, uh, quickly cycle temperatures. So you can quickly take it up to about a hundred degrees not really advised to take a lithium battery that high, but you can take it to temperatures where these batteries will be operating. So if you were in an extremely hot environment, like an underground mine, and you have a forklift there, maybe the temperatures get up to about 40 degrees, maybe more. And we can tell you your performance at this point, maybe you should only have this forklift operating in this period, in this mine for an hour, maybe two hours or three hours before your performance starts decreasing. I should mention that certain batteries like the lithium titanate oxide battery is very impressive in the sense that you are able to charge it very quickly. In the matter of a shift change, your battery can go from depleted to fully charged within that shift change. Mm -hmm. So you can we can tell you exactly how quickly your battery will charge in this temperature. So who should be coming to you uh, to uh, work with you and uh, get data from you? Everyone, everyone is welcome. <laughs> but uh, specifically to answer your question, um, we have, uh, we, our target market is, is manufacturers, assemblers, yeah. importers. We will be doing performance testing, aging testing. But I can tell you that we've had the lab is uh, opposite a gym at the CSR campus, so we've had a lot of walk-ins asking us if they can test their uh, home batteries. And yes, we will be able to to test those batteries. So we are the CSR, we are industry uh, industry facing. Wow, very, very exciting. I think uh, for a lot of us perhaps don't quite understand the technicalities, but we are certainly in awe of uh, what uh, we're producing and doing and the work that you are uh, engaged in. Thanks so much for your time and good luck.
Thank you so much for having me, Peter. Right. Thank you. All right. Fascinating, isn't it? That, uh, uh, it's an electrical engineer, research and energy storage testbed uh, supervisor at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, Ranesh Takodian, uh, talking to us about this fascinating testbed, uh, looking at storage, uh, battery storage, uh, testing it. And uh, this is the kind of technology that we can certainly be proud of.